All right, so I just got in a fresh batch, a two by four by 188 wall rectangular tube to do some frame rails. Uh, I'm gonna go and show you the whole process from unbundling, cleaning, cutting, to lay out all our bends and actual bend process itself. So instead of just doing a short clip on, you know, the machine doing a bend here or a bend there, I'm gonna walk you through how I do everything. So next up, we're gonna get this uh, kind of unbundled and put in the saw and cut to length. <laughs> Now that the tubes are all cut, I'm going to come back and I'm going to deburr the openings on both ends and I'll clean everything with some lacquer thinner in preparation to lay all my bend lines out. Tubes are all cleaned up and now it's ready to lay out. So one thing I always make note to do is this side does not have a seam on it and this side does have the seam. So I lay them out together and I always make sure one is seam side down, one is seam side up and I'll mark it to note that this is the top and the front. That way when I bend it, I always get the seams on the inside of the rail. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll kinda zoom in on this sheet here so you can see it. So this is my bend worksheet out of Bendtech, and I can locate bend one here, so the location and then the degree. So I'll work my way down from the front of the tube, which is here, all the way down. I'll lay out my dimension off of my bend worksheet. I'll flip everything over and I'll get the, the mark 360 degrees around, and then we'll be about ready to start bending. Mm -hmm. is laid out. You can see my marks for the, the arrow is the front and that also symbolizes the top. So there's the seam on one tube, no seam on the other. So when I bend them, they'll be mirrored. And you can see the bend, bend mark one, bend mark two, bend mark three, and so on. So now we're ready to turn the machine on and get to bending. Next up, we have to get the machine ready to do the bending process. So the first thing we have to do is we're gonna lubricate the mandrel itself, and then we'll pack some lubricant into the end of the tube. And from there, we can start setting the machine up, insert the tube, and we can start our bending process. So there you can see the mandrel, which is right here. And I'm gonna get some bending lubricant out of our bucket here on a brush. And we will liberally apply that all over the mandrel. And then we'll pack some of the lubricant into the end of the tube here. So as we insert the mandrel, it shoves that far up inside there. So we're gonna turn the pump on. We're gonna jog our spindle here and we're gonna reverse that out till it deadheads. And then we'll re-zero our spindle and we can turn the pump off for now. Next up, we're gonna roll our tube in to place. And then I'm gonna come around to the back and I have to guide the mandrel into the end of our tube. 
get that started, and then I can come to the end and push it the rest of the way through. With the tube inserted into the die, I can come over, we'll turn our pump back on, and we will go to do a single bend. So we'll put our bend angle in. According to the bend worksheet, it's 58 degrees. So we'll put that in and we will hit enter. And then from there, we will extend our mandrel, which will slightly push the tube out. And we will adjust that. I'm using this piece of eighth inch stock it lines up on the front of the die and it lines up with my corresponding mark I laid out earlier. So once that's lined up, bend one is in position. Then I can extend our clamping die. And when that's done, we come over and we can extend the pressure die. And at this point, we're ready for our first bend, which is 58 degrees. All right, with the bend being complete, we can come back over and we will retract the mandrel from the tube. When that light turns green, we'll retract our pressure die. You can see here that the red shows that it's in movement. And then now we can come over and we can retract our clamp die. And then we can swing the clamp cradle out of the way and we'll pull our tube out just a little bit and we'll reverse the main die. So according to our bend worksheet, the next die has to be 180 degrees from this bend. So we'll flip the tube around and then we'll repeat the process of extending the mandrel. and lining that up. And from this point on, it's just repeating this process through each bin down the tube. So there's the first of the pair of the hot rod frame rails. And I'll kind of speed up the second one for a time lapse. Well, there you have it. There's a pair of custom bent two by four by 188 frame rails uh, for a hot rod project. So let me know what you think of this video down in the comments section. And if there's any other videos you want to see in the future, also put those down there. So I've got a bunch of other frame rails I got to get back to bending. So thanks for watching. Please rate, review, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.